Yeah, okay. Today I am, oh, got some lipstick on it. Hold on a second here. Damn it. Today I am drinking a Pinot Noir from the Great Oregon Wine Company. It's called Lil Rascal. Found this at Safeway. What can I say? They just have all the canned wine. It says it's a proud supporter of the Humane Society of the United States. How great is that? Admittedly, I'm not a huge Pinot Noir gal. I feel like that's like a little bit blasphemous to say, but it's like a little bit too light for me. But you know what? trying something new today. Guys, all the canned things are about to come to an end because guess who has two thumbs and less than two weeks on this ship? This gal can't come soon enough. And how perfect because today we are at sea and this is one of the rockiest days we've had. It's really bad weather out there. The ship is rocking. Of all days, why in God's name did I choose this to do a liquid cat eye? But I did and it took me about 20 minutes but I did it. So you're gonna hear some noises. You're gonna see some rocking in this video. I do apologize. However, I didn't get a video up last week because my boyfriend was visiting and I just decided to take the week off. So I am getting a video up a little bit earlier this week and damn if I'm not gonna accomplish it. Also didn't plan it, but my lips match the can. So guys, today I am excited because the time has come for my September favorites. I have so many great favorites. Like this is kind of a do of a month for products that I loved. So let's just get right into it. I don't know if you guys remember, but a couple months ago in a favorites video, I partnered with a company called Ana Luisa Jewelry. I love what this company is about. I love their product. They asked me to partner with them and be a brand ambassador for the year. So that means I'm going to be showing you guys my favorite pieces, the newest pieces in all of their lines for the next year. So to kick off my favorites for this month, I'm going to show you the pieces that I am wearing currently currently in the video and just to sort of refresh you guys on what this company is all about. Ana Luisa Jewelry is a jewelry company that is based in Brooklyn but they have an online store. They eliminate the retail markup keeping the prices as fair and accessible as possible. Did you know that it takes 20 tons of earth mining to make one single ring of gold? So that's why brands don't want to tell you where their gold comes from. Ana Luisa uses 100% recycled gold in all of their products. Their products come from the same jewelers as Tiffany's and Louis Vuitton, and they offer you a one-year warranty on every single piece of jewelry. So you can check out all of their designs and everything down below in the description box. And I also have a $10 off code for you. It is Kate10. So they've sent me two pieces and I'm obsessed with them. I don't know if you guys know, but I am a huge ring person. I love rings. I have probably way too many rings. This is the Maruna ring and it retails for $79. Dipped in fine gold, this bezel gold-plated ring features a vibrant, semi-precious onyx stone. Guys, I love this design. I'm such a huge gold and black person. It's kind of got like a very like sexy gilded goth vibe. It goes perfectly with the layered necklaces they sent me, which is called the Ava set. This retails for $145. What's great about this is they're separate necklaces, so you can wear them separately or you can wear them all together. I just love the whole layered necklace trend. You can see that each one has like a little bit different texture going on, so there's a lot of interest to this. This one has that little onyx stone in it. So this is brass and then it's plated in 14 karat gold. It's super light. I just think it's the perfect combination of edgy yet dainty at the same time. And I love this one in particular. I wear this alone sometimes and it just sits perfectly right there just in my clavicle. I also want to show you how Ana Luisa sends their products. I just think it's so sleek and beautiful. So this is the box it comes in. It pulls out like a little handy dandy drawer. The jewelry comes with these little little velvet pouches. They're just a really good way to keep your jewelry in really nice condition, not scratched, all of that. I just love this brand and I'm so excited to be partnering with them. So again, please check out the link in my description box to look at all of the jewelry they have. They have all different kinds. They have dainty, fine jewelry. They have edgy jewelry, really funky jewelry. There's a little bit of something for everyone. And again, you can use that code Kate10 for $10 off your order. Do you see the ship? a rockin'. <sighs> 
time for a drink. Okay, moving on to a highlighter that I have really been digging on. This is by the company Ritual Defi. I talked about this company in my five product challenge that I did with Better Off Red and Ann P Makeup and More a few weeks ago. I used their cream blush, which I absolutely love, but I didn't get to show you their highlighter. This is a cream highlighter. It is called their Rare Light Luminizer. This particular shade is Solaris. You guys know how much I love a cream anything really. I just think it's such an easy way to apply makeup and it's also great for maturing skin because, you know, it's going to melt into the skin a lot easier. It's going to look natural. I'm going to swatch this for you. I am wearing it today. I don't know how well you can see that, but it is this beautiful, it looks white in the pan, but when you put it on, it has this really pretty sort of light peachy pinky flip to it. I am wearing it right now and you can see it's really subtle. I mean, obviously you can build it up to be whatever you want it to be. I'm gonna go in a little bit more. You can see how the pink really comes out and whatever blush you're wearing, it kind of enhances that and plays off of any peachy pinky that might already be in your blush. Very much like the Glossier Halo Scope, except it has a little bit more something to it, a little bit more interest. The Glossier Halo Scope doesn't really have as interesting of a flip. See, look at that right there. I just think that is the perfect glow. This is a clean brand. It's paraben free, vegan. It's all the things. I will say the smell of it, it's not, I don't know what it smells like. It's not like the most fragrant, splendid smell you've ever smelled in your life, but I only really notice it when I'm putting it on and then I don't notice it again. Moving on to something that I literally use every single day, and that is BK Beauty brushes. Now, I know I've talked about these in a couple of videos. These were sent to me by Lisa J Makeup, and I am in love with the quality. I feel like putting on my makeup is kind of like this fabulous ritual every morning. So I have both sets. I have the eye set and the face set, but I chose my four favorite brushes. Oh my God, the ship is... I'm like about to fall over in my chair. <gasps> I picked my four favorite brushes from both sets to show you guys. These are like my ride or die brushes. I use them every single day. My favorite brush in the eye set is the smudger brush. I used it today. I have like a little bit of white cream gel liner in my waterline and it was a little bit hard and intense. I just went in and very lightly blended that out with this brush. This is the best smudger brush I've ever used used. It's really nice and dense, but it's also soft at the same time. My favorite way to apply shadow as a liner to my lower lash line. To be specific, this is the 204 brush. Next brush is the 102. This is a big powder brush, and this is what I'm using every single day to set my face with powder. Another great way to use this is something that Stephanie Marie told me. She likes to wipe away any excess powder that might, you know, be too heavy or cakey with this, which makes a lot of sense because it is literally, like I said in my last video, like you're putting a bunny on your face. I mean, this is like the softest brush. All of these face brushes are the softest brushes I've ever used. This is also great because you can't go wrong with it. You're just not going to get too much powder when you use this brush, which sorry, not sorry, too much powder is just, nobody wants that. You know what I mean? Next is the 103 and I use this as a bronzer brush. You guys know I'm like a little bit careful about bronzer because I think that is something you can really go wrong with. Just orangey if it's not blended it is just a not a good situation. This is another brush that I feel like you just can't screw up with. Last but certainly not least is the contoured foundation brush. This is the 101. This is a lot of people's like favorite favorite brush in both sets. I think Lisa just really outdid herself with this. I sometimes apply my concealer with this because you can really just get in all the nooks and crannies, kind of like a one and done brush as far as concealer and foundation is concerned. I've also done some people's makeup on the ship because I do freelance makeup artist work and I've used this on them and they're like, what is that brush? That feels so amazing. It is the BK Beauty 101 girl. Mm. 
Next product I want to talk about was sent to me in my last BoxyCharm. This is the Hank and Henry Longwear Liquid Eyeliner in Blickety Black. And you guys know I have been searching for something to replace my Kat Von D tattoo eyeliner with. And I have officially found it. This is a brush tip. It is super easy to use. It glides. It doesn't skip. I used it today. It's as foolproof as a, you know, liquid liner can be. I don't know how foolproof it can actually be, but it comes close. So now that we're moving on to fall, I want to share a lipstick shade with you that I have had for like two years. I can't believe I've never used it in any video because it's a total go-to for me, especially when fall rolls around. I just think it's gorgeous. I'm wearing it on my lips today in conjunction with this lip liner from Thrive Cosmetics. This is a liner that was sent to me by Khaki Reviews Beauty, and it's actually named after Khaki. It's called Khaki. This isn't necessarily a shade that I even really have in a lip liner, certainly not, but you know, it's definitely like super sort of brownie. I went ahead and lined my entire lip with this, which gave me just a fuller lip look today. I also love this formula. You can see it just glides right on. It is the perfect color to use with this MAC lipstick shade that I feel like you cannot go wrong with. This is a MAC Luster lipstick in the shade Capricious. You can see it's pretty well loved and I'm wearing it right now, like I said, with this lip liner. I just think this is like the perfect fall lip. Swatch it on my arm for you. This is just a really easygoing, rosy plum shade. It's not matte, which I personally like. I know everyone's about a matte lip, but because of that, I think it's refreshing to not always be sporting a matte lip. It's really wearable, it's really comfortable, it's really creamy, and I just think the shade is universally flattering. MAC, I'm sure, makes a lip liner that goes with this as well, but I have to tell you that I've wanted to try something from Thrive Cosmetics for quite some time. They are a clean makeup company. They do a lot for charity, the environment. This is called the Lip Filler Lip Liner, and like I said, I actually didn't fill in my entire lip with this. This is the perfect thing to just outline the shape of my lips and give me that extra sort of fullness that I wouldn't get if I didn't use a lip liner. The next thing I wanna move on to is skincare. I know that's something that we all want to learn more about. I just learned about this company recently. They did send me their products. It is called Good Molecules and guys, I have been using this for the last month. I use it morning and night and my skin has never looked better. I know that I say that in a lot of my videos because you know, I'm pretty picky about my skincare. I take good care of my skin. So I think in general, my skin looks good, but sometimes there are those products that you learn about that you start using and you're like, this is a whole new level. That's what Good Molecules has been. I was a little bit skeptical just because I, you know, hadn't heard of this company. They are an affordable skincare brand. This is in the vein of The Ordinary, same price range. I'm liking it even better than The Ordinary. So I am actually going to do an entire updated skincare video coming up when I get off the ship, and I'm going to get more in depth about each of these products. But I'm just going to quickly take you through what they sent me. They sent me the Niacinamide Brightening Toner. Guys, remember when I didn't know what Niacinamide was like a few weeks ago and everyone jumped down my throat? This is for improving the appearance of enlarged pores. It has vitamin C, Niacinamide, and licorice root extract to brighten. They sent me their hyaluronic acid serum and you guys know, you know, how much I'm into the hyaluronic acid. This is formulated to draw moisture into the skin for deeper hydration. Now I will say the ordinary's hyaluronic acid is a little sticky. Am I willing to overlook that? Sure, I'm willing to overlook it. This isn't sticky at all, so this wins. Next is the Super Peptide Serum. This is formulated with tripeptides to target fine lines, wrinkles, and dullness. And the last thing they sent me was the Ultra Hydrating Facial Oil. Now I know this looks like a teensy tiny, but you know, a little bit goes a long way. You only need like 
three drops of this. I use it like on my lips. Sometimes I put it in my hair. I just think this is fantastic. It's formulated with camellia and sea buckthorn oils to hydrate, protect, and nourish. I've been sort of like digging into their Instagram because I'm so impressed with how these products are affecting my skin. Unless this term existed before, I've never seen it until I was apprised of good molecules. They talk about serum cocktailing. This is basically taking like, I don't know, anywhere from like two to four serums and targeting what your skin needs. Basically tailoring serums to your skin. And a lot of the serums work together. I really love this concept and that's basically what I've been doing with the hyaluronic acid and the super peptide serum. I use these right after each other. I let them sink into my skin for 30 seconds and then go in with the other one. Like I said, I am going to show you my entire routine in an updated video, but I just had to tell you guys about this brand. Also, it is super affordable skincare and I know a lot of people have commented on my channel and other people's channels talking about how yes, Drunk Elephant is super trendy and it's a good product. You can get that kind of incredible skincare without paying those prices. And I think that's something that we all need to be aware of. I cannot wait to try more of this line and I cannot wait to show you guys how I go about my new skincare routine incorporating good molecules. This is basically what I'm wearing underneath my makeup today. I don't use a primer anymore. I just focus on good skincare, then go right in with my foundation and concealer. I've never been more happy with how my makeup applies. Good molecules, good job. Okay, so that wraps up my September favorites. Like I said, every single thing in this group is something that I am very passionate about. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. If you are digging on my content, please do subscribe, share, and give this video a thumbs up. Also click that little bell right beneath the video with the parentheses around it. That is going to alert you anytime I drop a new video. Mm. 